What's up, y'all? This is Leah Charmant coming to you with a ghetto tutorial. Don't mind the nubs. First thing you're going to need is a parting comb, the best combs that's out. Then you're going to need a stirring brush and an applicator bowl. Then you're going to need another applicator bowl. On top of that, Vaseline for your edges and your perimeter. Let's go to this. Let's get it. Two packs of powder for highlighting. 40 volume developer. Purple Kiss Colors. And let's go. So I seriously wanted to do this tutorial because it's, I, listen, this is about to be ghetto because I know it's like other ways you could take the red out your hair, but I seriously, seriously just don't have the time today and I'm sick of this color. So I'm just going to lighten my roots because, listen, doing all that is just going to take a long time and I have things I have to do today. So you part your hair in four sections four sections and all we're going to be doing is lightening up the roots to make them blonde and then we're just going to deposit the purple so right now you just see me parting my hair and prepping my hair getting it ready so what's up hey sis yo what's up like i know it's been a while and i should have been posted the video i have another video that i'm going to post i'm just waiting for a wig to come in the mail so I could do the wig tutorial on top of posting the video for my new segment called Thrifted Thursdays. So be on the lookout for that. And let's get to the next part of this hair tutorial. So you're gonna need your gloves to protect your fingers because I'm telling you, this bleach will definitely burn your hands. Place the Vaseline around your perimeter on your ears, around the back of your neck, all for protection. Wrap it up. Vaseline is the condom for coloring hair. <laughs> so um, what are we going to talk about on this haces? Well, this haces, I want to talk about the reason why I chose not to eat meat anymore. Pause. Take your time doing this. I edited it a little bit to take out some of the videos because it, it made my video super, super long. But this part right here, you're just taking your time, starting on the outside to prep it, getting the bleach all on the, rim, the perimeter. And yes, yeah, sis, like after this, you're going to be like, wow, this was easy and quick. But the reason why I chose not to eat meat anymore is because just spiritual reasons and, you know, my love for animals. Also, with having hyperthyroidism, it caused my hormones to be off balance. And I started researching, like, what brought me to this point? What did it? What did it? Like, what did it? What did it? And I realized a lot of the foods that I was eating weren't good for me at all. So, you know, thanks to the most high, brought me to a conclusion, you know, change your diet. And it's been a long journey. It's been three and a half years. The only thing I do eat now is salmon and sometimes fish. Um, I just recently stopped eating shrimp. So I'm super proud of myself because shrimp was very, very hard to let go of. <laughs> but I don't eat shrimp no more and I barely eat fish. So my main like so-called meat would be like salmon. But I've been stopped eating chicken and turkey about three and a half years ago. And red meats, I stopped eating a long time ago. I would say like 2009. Yeah. Like 2009, sis. So no steak, yuck. No chicken, yuck. No turkey, yuck. Like I don't judge people who eat those things, but my life has been so more fulfilled, so much fulfilled now that I don't eat dead animals. 
you know and some people think fish and stuff like that is animals but to me i feel like that's more of a reasonable substitute for meat than eating a live animal that oh that you have to slaughter and oh don't even get me started it's really crazy so no you won't catch me eating that um the benefits of not eating meat is so many like i've noticed my attitude change i noticed my energy change i noticed how more you know patient i am happier i am because i don't know if you guys know but when these animals are being slaughtered and yeah you see me leaning back because the bleach is like super strong i should have put a mask on but yeah the way these animals get slaughtered they be sad depressed angry so you know sometimes that those spirits can get That's into your you body really you from these eating up. them so i did see a major change in my attitude you know and i love animals so when i started seeing videos of animals crying and like people be like they're not crying i literally saw a cow crying like this person recorded a video of a cow getting ready to be slaughtered and a tear dropped out of the cow's eye and ever since then oh my gosh my heart i love animals you guys i'm an earth sign so i love the earth i love water i love the trees i have plants in my house um i just love nature so seeing the animals be so sad it just broke my heart like and I can't see myself eating them. Like, they have feelings, too. And I know people say plants and stuff have feelings, too. But let's be realistic here. Okay? And I love my plants, too. So before I eat my lettuce and, you know, my veggies and stuff, I talk to them, too. You know? Thank you for nourishing my body. Thank you for everything. Duh. But, yeah. As you can see, the new growth is lightening up. I'm just brushing it. To get it through so i can get as light as possible you know you don't want to leave this on your hair too long because yeah it's gonna burn you're gonna have scabs and scarring and it's just gonna hurt so even if it's not bleached a hundred percent i would say take it out don't waste time just take it out because it's just not worth it you know you don't want to deal with the aftermath of bleach sitting on your scalp too long honey but yeah i love animals um i can't imagine you know killing an animal people are so cruel like i don't know if you guys know this but what's up with everybody like not being sensitive towards cats like i have a cat myself i have a black cat and i love him to death like i don't see how y'all are so evil towards cats i be driving down the road and i be seeing like people that done ran over a cat. Like, listen, I don't run over animals. Like, I done seen cats, dogs walking the street, and I literally stopped. I held up traffic and let them get by. Some of them be injured. You know, they can't walk correctly. So it's like, y'all are evil for doing that. Like, ugh. Who sits there and gas up and runs over a freaking cat? Pathetic. And, you know, it's just like, no regard for animal life like i don't think people look at animals like they have a life too but i do so yeah okay so i rinsed it out and this is the aftermath you see how it's all blonde everything's ready and prepped and ready to go let's get it let's go let's get it period let's go because i'm sick of this red like <laughs> over it.com over it over it like it has to go so you're just gonna repart your hair again into four because now we're getting ready to deposit purple i don't know what made me pick purple but i was sitting there thinking i'm like what color will cover this red it has to be something dark and i didn't want to do black just as yet because honestly you guys this is my last time coloring my hair because I feel as though when I color my hair, it don't be as full. It just, it just is not given. It's not given. So, you know, I had fun with the red. It was so pretty. I had it for my birthday. I loved it. And 
it was just i'm gonna insert a picture of how i looked on my birthday right now <laughs> yeah i had the red ponytail i had the fur jacket sis was out went out to eat went to the telly you know just to relax and just give myself some quality time because i deserved it uh i had a car accident the month of my birthday so you know i was just overwhelmed at that time like i'm like i just want to relax and eat because i love food food baby and just to let you guys know like not eating meat it like food still be rocking like my main my next step is to get to the point where i'm no longer you know eating things with animal products in it which is very hard so i'm not perfect you guys but okay right now you see me putting the purple color into the applicator bowl because you got to be professional sis yes i went to hair school so yes you don't want to be putting the bottle in your scalp you know ghetto i know i said this is a ghetto tutorial but this is ghetto we're gonna say this is bougetto <laughs> this is bougetto okay so you just start applying it you know i always start on my edges i don't know how everybody else like to start but i love to start on my edges and yes this is looking good already but back to my food oh i must have forgot to put the vaseline on duh don't forget to put the vaseline on because y'all don't want color stains on your forehead and stuff yeah but back to the food when you become like a pescatarian or a vegan or alkaline goddess because that's where i'm headed to sis i'm trying to be alkaline like period yeah but when you eat those eat those types of categories like it's fun you actually add more color to your food it's amazing like what you could do without meat like there's days i don't even eat fish at all you know i just straight eat vegetables and you know other things substitutes and it's just like i'm not missing anything i'm not gonna lie though the first couple of months it was hard okay so i started this journey in 2015 but i did it wrong i went straight cold turkey i just stopped eating meat period and i ended up relapsing because at the time i was dating someone and he would you know put chicken in my face and yeah i know i should have more willpower but it was hard smelling the chicken and I'm trying to get over not eating chicken. Like, what black person don't like fried chicken? Especially the lemon pepper and all that, barbecue. So it was hard for me. But I ended up relapsing. That's what I call it. Because I feel like food is an addiction. So being addicted to meat is an addiction. So I relapsed on that, you know. And I started back eating meat for a year and a half. I stopped. Mm -hmm in 2017 the summertime because listen oh i just realized this summer makes four years not three and a half this summer makes four years congratulations Leia shaman period la you is doing your thing Leia. but anyway um the summer of 2017 i ended up getting food poisoning from quick check so I went and got a sandwich and it was like some chicken like sandwich. It was really oh, sandwich. Ugh. Excuse me, y'all, because I talk on my tongue. And some words I say be a little weird. So y'all gonna have to bear with me. It was some type of chicken sandwich, but it was mm, how can I put it? Good going down, but nasty coming out. And I was looking like what is going on? I started sweating. Heart palpitations. Oh my gosh. And I started trying to throw up the food. It wouldn't come up at all. Heart was racing. Ended up getting rushed to the emergency room. Thank God to my um sister's friend. She drove me there. At the time, I didn't have a car. So when I got there, I'm like, oh my God, I'm freaking out. Something's wrong with me. Something's wrong with me. They telling me I had to wait. I ended up throwing up in the lobby of the emergency room. All that food came out and all of a sudden I started feeling better. My body felt super weird. I was like, you know what? That's it. That's a sign from God. I am not eating meat ever again. And honestly, that was the last day I had a piece of chicken. 
I don't care. Like, I was like, no. Something wasn't cooked right in that chicken. It just wasn't given. I know you can get food poisoning from anything, but it was just for me, I felt like it was the chicken. So you want to, right here, I'm just rubbing it in, adding some to the so adding, excuse me, y'all, adding some more to the ends so it can stick. And yeah, this is what you do when you just don't want that red no more. Ugh. Watching this just just giving me satisfaction because, listen, at that time, I was just over the red. I'm like, girl, I'm about to go purple, period. My hair's never been purple, and it was looking cute already, yes. So, now you want to comb through your hair gently. Please be gentle with your kinks and curls. Gently on the ends. Rub it in. Yes, sis, yes. Get that color in there. Yes. So with this hair, with this coloring, I'm doing cornrows to the back with beads. So cute. I just love my natural hairstyles. Like, I'm not going to lie, you guys. I love weave and stuff like that. But I love a good ponytail. I love a good cornrow. I love a good box braid, a fox lock. I don't know. It's just It just makes me feel extra pretty. Like, some females feel extra pretty with weave and stuff like that. I know I look good with the weave, too, but no. I love my natural hairstyles. I feel so much freer, and it just gives me, like, motherland vibes. Like, <laughs> but, yeah, you want to make sure you go through the hair and add that color, sis, because you want it to stick. Stick, period. You want it to stick. Get it in there. Rub, rub, rub a dub, dub. You know, looking at this makes me look like, hmm. Okay. You did that. <laughs> okay, so this is the aftermath of it. And it's still some red, so you might want to do another application. Now, this is after the second application. Yes, yeah, much more darker. And, you know, all the red might not be gone, but it's enough for me to put the purple hair on top of it and you won't even notice that my hair was red. Period, sis. Yes, 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 yes. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my... <laughs> Period. Peace. Peace. But this right here is the section of me straightening it. I straightened it. I didn't do it on camera and yeah i like my hair straightened so my cornrows can be easier for me to do i don't know about y'all but i feel like when my hair is curly i feel like my fingers be you know popping my ends for some reason so of course use your heat protectant and blow dry your hair so you're gonna need a, a bow to hold your hair up and this is right here it's pre-stretched hair purple and you know what's crazy? I'm so grateful. Oh, yeah, don't forget your beads. And you're going to also need rubber bands. Now, whoever thought of this idea of pre-stretched braiding hair saved us a whole lot of time. Thank you for that. So, this is one half of it being done this is the last corn roll for this side and i'm going to show you guys how i did it so i grabbed a certain amount of hair how thick you want your braids is up to you and you separate it into pieces one piece and yeah um maybe like six pieces so you section six pieces out of your hair real tiny for the beginning and then you get bigger as you go so i don't think i will ever miss eating meat like ever like i don't even like the smell of chicken anymore it totally like left me and i'm so happy i'm so happy like normally i would smell and i'd be like wow that smells really good now when I smell it, I be like, mm, I wonder if I could use that same seasoning. Because I still cook meat for my household but and my daughter, but no. Nah. So right here, you just take a piece of the front. And yes, I'm doing this with long nails, sweetie, period. The only way I can't braid with 
long nails is when I'm doing real tiny braids, real tiny braids. But the medium to jumbos, oh, I could slay with big long nails, like period. This is how you start off the front part because we're doing feed ins. I don't like the little knot in front of the cornrows. I don't do my cornrows like that anymore. So I do feed in cornrows, period. What I do want to learn how to do next is stitch cornrows. I did it before, but it wasn't super neat. So I'm going to be practicing more on that. But yeah, I'm going to be doing more of that. And then you just braid, braid. Yes, you see the smile on my face because a sister is souped up. I am souped up, child. That my hair looks purple and it's looking cute on me too. I'm looking like a whole baddie. A baddie. All right. Period. But yeah, you could also use mushrooms for meat substitution. Um, broccoli, cauliflower, even though I don't eat those things like that. Because I'm heading more to alkaline and those are like hybrid vegetables. I'm learning now. So, yeah, you have cauliflower, um, buffalo wings, and stuff like that. So, the transition will be hard in the beginning. But if you stick to it, yeah, you'll slay. And your body will be on fleek, period. Because I'm going to upload a picture of my body here. You see? My body is on fleek, child. And that's because I don't eat meat, so... I also do other things like working out too. So make sure you add that in there too to stay fit. What I need to do is work on my sleep pattern. Because when I do my 9 to 5, you know, that's when I do my 9 to 5. But I need to balance it because I do my 9 to 5. I do my YouTube. I do my other little side gigs. And yeah. So... It be like time be flying. Sometimes I don't get enough sleep, but I'm going to figure something out because I have to balance it. It has to be balanced, period. So you want to clean it up. Clean up your braid. Make sure you're not cutting your real hair. If it's your real hair, I suggest you to take the braid out. But I knew that was weird because I could see it. Clean up the braid and then you start putting on the beads. At this point, you want to braid your hair all the way to the end so it gets super, super skinny. Just so you could be able to easily put the beads on. So, yeah. Use some, like, type of jam, gel, edge control to hold it together. Braid, 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 braid. And then you apply the beads on. You can use a bead applicator. But I didn't have one. So, I'm like, you know, whatever. So, this is the final product and your sis is slayed period like yes so like comment and subscribe to my channel listen you guys going vegan can be fun and extremely educational period so thank you and see you later sis